Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much for hosting us uh, today. Under such uh, difficult circumstances, I want to express my solidarity with the people of, of Israel and the people of Palestine who are suffering the consequences of this terrible uh, crisis. Uh, my country, Spain, shares uh, Israel pain and sorrow. We condemn once again shocking acts uh, of terrorism of October 7th. Um, and I welcome the agreement uh, that uh, will allow uh, for the release of some of the hostages and the establishment uh, of a humanitarian post. Uh, we hope uh, it is fully implemented as soon as possible. Israel, we, we said it since the beginning of, uh, of these terrible uh, attacks, uh, has a right to defend itself uh, against these attacks. But Israel must also comply with international law, uh, including international humanitarian law. Uh, the response uh, cannot imply the death of innocent civilians in, in Gaza, including uh, thousands of, of children. So, so we need to urgently stop the humanitarian catastrophe uh, in, in Gaza. The dreadful suffering of, of the Palestinian people is appealing. Uh, all civilians must be protected uh, at, at all costs. And, and humanitarian aid must enter uh, the Gaza Strip immediately at the scale and regularity. And regularly. The risk of more people dying from famine must uh, urgently be addressed. Uh, we must uh, take the necessary steps uh, towards uh, a lasting humanitarian ceasefire. This has been uh, our, our position uh, that the Palestinian Authority should uh, take responsibility over Gaza and uh, the international community should uh, accompany and bring in the necessary support to make it uh, sustainable. In order to achieve this, uh, diplomacy must prevail. Uh, the two-state solution, we, we spoke about it, uh, must be finally implemented. That is the best way of uh, defeating terrorism and, and grant long-term security uh, for Israel.